Hey there mamas! Today I'm just going to be sewing a really basic pre-flat and there's a few ways that you can do a pre-flat. A pre-flat is really what used to be called a winged pre-fold but instead of it being a pre-fold, instead of it having the folded fabrics through the middle, it is just flat. So most pre-flats are multiple layers but you can use a single layer if it's a thick enough fabric. Most of them are done with a serger but you can make them turned and top stitched just like my folding fitteds. So if you want to know how to do that, you basically just sew a little bit around the outside and then turn it through a hole. And you just have to have a very small seam allowance just so that you don't have bulky edges. But most people do pre-flat serged and it's a very simple, very quick diaper that can be serge only. You don't have to use your sewing machine at all. You can just use your serger because there's no elastic casings and there's nothing besides just a basic shaped piece of fabric. The way that I do my pre-flats is by lowering my knife through the wings, through the curves of the wings, just like with my fold-in fitteds. But a lot of people will cut a bigger oval sort of circle out of that area. So up here where it cuts in, you can make it like a, a circle there instead so that you can just surge around it. You'll lose some fabric though for absorbency and which is why I don't do that with my pattern but you are totally welcome to just go down a little as long as you don't cut in further as long as you just go down and sort of round out that corner and that will make it easier to serge with your knife up. Um, different sergers have different ways of lowering the knife but on mine it's pretty simple. You open up this compartment here and there's this knob that's the silver knob the second knob in and if you push on it you'll see that the knife moves and what you do is you push it all the way in and then you rotate it and then you it'll pop back in place when it's all the way down and that will just completely unengage your knife so you won't be cutting so if you have any tight interior corners or things like that then it's good thing to it's a good thing to lower your serger knife um it works for a lot of things it's a good skill to have even if you're going to be cutting out and if you want to make this really fast you can be cutting out instead of instead of lowering your knife but if you're if your fabric's already shaped correctly, you can just kind of use that side guide and not have your knife there and it'll work just fine. You know, other than that, I like to use stretchy fabrics for pre-flats. This is a layer of cotton jersey and two layers of a thin bamboo fleece. If you were going to be used like an extra heavy bamboo, bamboo fleece, you could do just one layer and then maybe an interlock or something a little thicker on the top. Um, the point is that you're going to be having it tri-folded like a pre-fold in the middle. So however many layers you have at the middle is your sort of total layers. So say you were going to need six layers of bamboo fleece, well then this would become six layers if it was two and two. If you were doing something like a old stained hand towel and it's already a very thick fabric, but you wanted to cover it in something so that poop fell off it easier, you could put like a layer of t-shirt over a layer of this and then just cut and serge around it. You don't need to have it be thin enough to turn, so you can use a very thick towel if you wanted to. And if you have a thinner baby terry, you could use like two layers of that or three layers of that. If you were going to be doing this with a t-shirt, I would do it as four layers of a t-shirt. And then when you fold it, it ends up being 12 layers. And if you're making a stretchy pre-flat, the stretch should be side to side. That way when you wrap around the wings, it'll stretch around the baby. And that'll make them fit a little bit longer and get a better fit it's kind of like, like an elastic, right? If it's a stretchy fabric. But if you're using a non-stretchy fabric, then it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so let's get started. Super basic. I'm gonna start with my doubler. It's in the pattern. This is just a basic newborn sized insert. I just did a rounded rectangle. You can do this with your knife up or down. It doesn't matter. So we'll put the knife up just to get nice trimmed edges. Make sure it's in place and engaged. Make sure all your tensions are where you want them. So there you've got your very basic doubler or insert. And I made mine three layers. So two of these alone could be put into a newborn pocket diaper and be pretty sufficient. Also, you could um, use this as a doubler or a booster on a larger size diaper down the road. And you can also continue using the pre-flats as inserts down the road. So if you made pre-flats for the newborn size, then you could just tri-fold them and put them inside a pocket later on as an insert. 
it's a good way to make a you know non-elasticized simple diaper that you can keep using through the entire time that you're diapering your child. It's just a great quick sew option that will have a lot of longevity. So we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna leave my knife up and I'm gonna start right here on the edge and go around with my knife up and then I will drop my knife when I get toward that corner. Okay, so then as I come into this corner here, I'm going to go a little ways in and then I'm going to lower my knife before I get all the way to that corner. And now my knife is dropped and I can go closely into that corner. And what I do is I like to just kind of pull it straight while I go through that inside. But without the knife there, it won't cut it. So you just kind of feed it close to the edge where the knife would be. And at this point, if you would like, you can raise your knife back up or you can leave it down. You could even leave it down through the entire thing as long as you go slow and make sure that you're catching the edges evenly. So there you have your finished stretchy newborn to small size and at this point you could add some snaps across the front or on the wings if you want it to be snappable but a lot of people like leaving them snappable or pinnable if it's pinnable you can use any sort of fabric if you want it to be snappable you'll want to use either a stretchy jersey on the outside or a sherpa or a waffle knit works really well um, if you wanted to make it non-stretchy, you could use gauze or bird's eye or, you know, cloth diaper type fabric, prefold type fabric. You can use the same style of pattern on a prefold and just, you know, have the edges and have it be a winged prefold and then have your, you know, prefold through the middle and you can adjust the rise that way or you can just leave it as long as it needs to be. So something like this on a larger size prefold, you would just extend the rectangle at the bottom and you can use this same template for that. So you could fold in your edge to whatever you need your rise adjustment to be, and this will make for smaller leg holes, and then fold it in, and then fold it up. And then when you do that and you pin it, you can go very tight across the inside, and it leaves you with much smaller leg holes. So if your child has very small skinny legs, the newborn, that works really well. My daughter had tiny little legs and hips. And my son had big girthy thighs even at birth, but a small waist. So something like this, it's how you fold it that really changes the fit. I'm also gonna show how to do it with just an old stained kitchen towel or hand towel. I've got this hand towel that my husband accidentally used in his cooler for barbecue. He thought it was a rag towel, but it was not. And this is a very thick plush you know, cotton terry bath towel. And a lot of people have old stained towels. One thing you can do with something like this is turn it into a pre-flat. Really simple, one layer, or you can add a t-shirt layer to the outside or flannel to the outside. And basically you just, whatever the width is, you make a square.
So there you've got, you know, none of the none of the hand towel wasted. You have your doubler, you have your body. That's really all it is. It's just a square of fabric, couple layers and some, single layer and others, and shaped so that it has wings. And that's it. That's all it is. So yeah, if you wanted to take your your prefolds that you don't really like or whatever and do the same thing with them, you totally could. It's just just a nice way to have a very thin, quick wash, quick dry, easy sew, no elastic, all done on the serger. It's a good option. But there are other ways you can fold these as well. You can do things like the jelly roll fold. And some people like doing things like that where you fold in the edges and you leave a channel down the middle. And that'll help with containment. So if you've got a baby who has messy poops, you can just do a jelly roll fold and then fold it up. And then you'll have this kind of channel down the middle and it'll still hold the urine because it'll just wick into these rolls. But it's a little bulkier at the legs that way. So, you know, you can fold it lots of different ways. They're very flexible, just like prefolds are. And there we have our stretchy pre-flat diapers and our recycled Terry pre-flat diapers. Happy sewing.